Hey guys, it's Natalie with Treasures of Mini, and this is the card that we're going to make today. But before I get started, I previously recorded something that I want to show you. Hey everybody, it's Natalie. I wanted to share something with you that I do when I am getting ready to make cards and crafts for a particular holiday season. Um, I think I've shown you all this before, but I, I don't know if I've actually shown it. I think that I just told you about it and didn't really kind of give you a visual for me, what usually ends up happening is I will find craft things and stamps either on sale or on clearance after the holiday. So I bring it home and I don't use it at all. And by the time the holiday comes back around, I've kind of forgotten about it. Or I get it before the holiday and I've only used it a couple of times. So you put it up again for a year and you kind of forget about it. Especially when the holiday comes back around and you start seeing all the new stuff. So what I tend to do, and I just did it today, I just took, it usually only takes me about an hour, and I go through all the major sections of my craft room and I pull out anything that I think could be used for that holiday, or things that I have not used in a while or have never used that I wanna make sure I find a way to incorporate it. And I, usually have some boxes or some totes. I put all that in it and I leave that out in an area, not usually on the floor, but I want to make this to where um, you guys could see it well. Um, I usually actually, I probably would put it right over there. I'll probably move my leather stuff and put it right there. So I probably will keep it in the floor, but um, you know, it's my craft room. I can, but I wanted to show you kind of what I do. So this right here, and I try to separate the stuff so I kind of know what I'm doing. I went through all of my dies and um, embossing folders, which I don't really use embossing folders that much, but I do have a couple in here. And some stamp sets that, uh, these are the bigger stamp sets. I have my smaller ones over there, but I have that in this tote. And not all of these are necessarily for Valentine's Day. Like this one I got, I got this for, well it says $12.99, but it, it wasn't, it was $3. I've never opened it. I think it's so cute. And I could do something um, with that for Valentine's. So I put it out. Um, like my shapes, I've put those out. Um, this isn't necessarily Valentine's, but it is a really cute little monkey, and I've always called my youngest son my little monkey, so there, you know, that's an idea. Grass, I could always use that, you know. So anything like that, and things that I haven't used, this never used. It does say friends, it's not Valentine's Day, but we do give Valentine's Day to our friends, so I pulled that out. I do have a few embossing folders that I pulled out. This is a new 3D one that I've never even used, so I want to make sure that I use it. This was one of the very first things that I got. It was damaged. It was cut like this. Let's see. It was 19, but then it was 75% off of that. I've never used this, but it's to cut that out. And I was thinking oh, that I could put a heart on there. You see what I'm saying? I could use this. I could, and I never have. So I've put it out. I want to make sure that I get some use out of, out of this stuff. So that's what that is. I also have had this container with these little glass. Some of them are glass, some of them are plastic, little shapes. I got this on clearance. A long time ago, I've never used these. They're really lightweight. I could use them on a card, so I've put them out. My wooden tags, I've put that out. This box, I have this. I know that people, this metal people, can send it through an embossing folder. You can use it on your Cricut. That's what my husband gave it to me. That's what I intended to do with it. Never done it, so I've put it out. These are some CD cases that were given to me by a friend in Hawaii and she had said that Stampin' Up! did a thing where they made cards and uh, brag books out of these. So I have them and I've never done anything and I'm thinking, wow, I could make some really cute Valentine things from it. Y'all know I like my paper napkin technique. I've got some little bags. 
these little tiny bags, these little treat shaker things. I had been saving these because I kind of had a really cute idea. I'm not going to tell you. We're going to save that for later. But So I put one out so I could work on that. So I'm not going to use all this stuff. It's these bags and the, these things I have always kept in this box. So instead of taking some out and all that, I just brought out the box. Then this is... Um, Okay, this, I always keep my scraps for holidays separate than the rest of my stuff. This is just scraps from um, Valentine's Day paper. And I don't mix this in with the rest of it because it's generally not something that I would use with the rest of it. Um, but maybe like the red and the black when I'm done, I probably will stick it in with the rest of my scraps. But that's just my little scrap thing. Some heart brads. These are the only two pads for Valentine's that I have. This one I just showed you guys in my last video. This was from last year. You can see how little it was used. Um, this is what I like doing with my scraps now. Is I just make a little pocket on the back of my 6x6 six six pad. And I stick it back there. And then I know what pad it came from. So there's my pad. And then this is stickers and embellishments, things like that, um, that I have gotten. I showed you these already. These I got at Target, their dollar spot last year. This is what I have left, so I still have some. And I have some other things. Sorry about the blurriness. Some rub-ons and some other stickers that I want to try to use. So I have those here. We'll cut out letters and then this is my stamps so I got all of my stamps together that I thought were either Valentine's Day or could be used for when I say either or such as it's not Valentine's Day but um, I think it could be used as one that's really sweet here's a some with sayings this is one I've never used. I've had this for like two or three years. I've never used it. I want to make myself do it. Same thing with this one. I've used this one a lot. But this one I've never used. But how cute is that? And I think that could be used as Valentine's. This is not a Valentine's Day one at all. But I put it in here because I could take my heart punch and punch out little hearts and make it a little jar with like hearts in it and could write on those so I just went through and got out stuff so these are my Valentine's Day stamps that I've had I've not bought anything new um, and this is what I'm going to be using so this is how I would get ready for this craft time I just Remember wanted to share card. that and now let's get busy with our card or our project for today. So for our cards, shaker cards today, we're going to be using these clear plastic sleeves by We Are Memory Keepers and they're for the fuse tool. You can see that I have out two here and I'm actually going to cut one down. Um, they're already pockets, but I want to make an extra pocket on this. So I just kind of cut off the bottom and the top to where I could make have one pocket and one single layer. Um, and now, uh, what we're going to do is fuse those together to where it's like three little pockets. So to hold them together straight while I'm doing this, I'm actually just going to take some washi tape and kind of line it up perfect. The one pocket with a, another piece of the plastic behind it. And then I'm going to take my fuse tool and I'm going to fuse it together on the bottom and one side. Now I have the little ruler that comes with it that helps you make a straight perfect line but I've misplaced it and can't find it so I'm going to do the best that I can with just my metal ruler here. So I have fused the bottom together and now I'm going to fuse this one side together because I know that if you're already using the pockets it's already fused but we're adding one more layer to it so I need to get that one more layer fused here. 
I know this is very confusing right now. I'm hoping that it will make sense in a minute. It's really hard to videotape this since it is clear plastic. But now that I have it fused, I'm going to take um, the tape off and we're going to set that aside for a minute. So I am taking some black memento ink because I'm going to do some Copic coloring and I'm going to stamp this little cow. When I do images like this, I usually stamp too in case I don't like my coloring, which you can see over there, it, I messed it up. So I'm now coloring the other cow. And I didn't put my numbers or anything down for this coloring because I didn't do anything really amazing. Like I really didn't do any major shading or color combinations or anything. I just kind of wanted to make a black and white cow. <laughs> Um, I guess if you really want to know that, I can try to go back and figure it out and um, give you the numbers in the comments below. So just let me know. Um, but we are making a clear shaker card, so you're going to be able to see through everything. So I was going to go ahead and tell you, this piece of white paper that I have stamped on and now I'm coloring on is an, actually a Nina cardstock, um, the 65 pound weight. You can see it's kind of thin and I did that for a reason. Um, on the clear shaker cards you can see through it and I don't want you to be able to see the ink. So I'm actually going to glue him to another piece and before I fussy cut it out I'm going to put some double-sided sticky tape on it. I'm going to leave the back on there and just fussy cut it out. Now I also have this lawn fawn uh, grass and I took a scrap piece of paper and cut out a piece of that and with my Versamark and using my Misty I'm going to stamp it twice because my pad's kind of drying up and we're going to use some of this uh, Nouveau Enchanted Black uh, embossing powder and I'm going to emboss I the sentiment. I'm going to hit it with my heat tool and I'm going to trim this down a pretty good bit until I get it where I like it. And then I'm going to take some double-sided sticky tape and I'm going to put it all over the back of that and make it look like a sheet. This would be better if you had some full adhesive sheets but I was out. You can't use glue because you'll be able to see it through the card. Now I brought the plastic sleeve back and I wanted to show you how I got these glitter hearts. So I had these two separate colors of washi tape and I just stuck them together. And then I had this uh, glitter paper that was white on the back. So I glued two pieces of that together and then I just used my punches. So you can see here when I punch the heart out, it's glittered on both sides. And when I punch the hearts out with my washi tape, I also have glitter on both sides. So then I could put it in my pouch and it's all pretty on both sides. Now that is just a piece of paper that I have cut in there to be the size of a gift card because I would normally put a gift card in here but I didn't have one but I wanted to show you what it would look like on the inside. Now I'm just filling uh, my shaker card up with all the elements that I have sequins, glitter, uh, seed beads and all of that that I like and when I have it full I'm going to take my fuse tool and fuse together that last side. Um, to where now the entire thing is closed up. So you can see here you got a gift card in there and we can shake it and it's all cool. And you can see that we, because we added that back piece, we have a place where if you wanted to put a little secret letter, you could. Now remember earlier when I put the double-sided sticky tape on the back of my cow, I did that because I did not have any I didn't have any of my sticker paper for my Xyron, but this is the next day and I went to um, Hobby Lobby and bought some. So I did go ahead and run my cow through the Xyron sticker maker. And then I'm going to put him on here. And you can see when I turn this over, you can't see the adhesive or anything. And you can't see the marker bleed through on the cow either because we backed it with another piece. I'm just going to go around my edge here and trim this up a little bit. My gift card, I ended up putting it in backwards and I didn't like that. So I cut the top of it off, flipped it around and sealed it back up to where you guys could see what it would, you know, actually supposed to look like. 
I decided to take some Lawn Fawn clouds and run those through my Xyron sticker maker and add a couple there too because I just felt like the cow and the grass looked like a scene. So I felt like some little clouds would be nice. And with my Wink of Stella, I'm going to make the other clouds really shiny and pretty. And look how cute that is. So you've got this little sign, this little scene on the front. But because we added that other piece, now we have a little pocket where you could add an extra sentiment if you wanted to write something you didn't really want everybody else to be able to see. So I took a note card and I glued it to a piece of patterned paper and I rounded the edges and now it can fit in that back pocket. So you have a clear card that could just be the card, but you know, it is Valentine's Day. You might want to write something special on there. You do have an extra little pocket where you can slide things in and out. I decided I wanted to put a few little hearts on there just to give it a little something extra. And using my envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers, I did make an envelope to match. Now here are three other ones that I made before. I did the same way. Um, this one you can see I used a Stampin' Up! coupon stamp. This is it. And I just cut it out and backed it with pattern paper and wrote something in there and um, did my little stamping. And I even had the Weir Memory Keepers smaller little sleeves. So I decided to make like a small one. And this is the stamp set that I used for that. It's by Recollections, I think. And for this one, I used this Paper Smooches stamp set. Now for this last one, I wanted to make it look like a heart. So I took um, a heart die. I um, mean, you can see that I also put a little message on the inside of that. I used this recollection stamp set, but I took my heart die. And on one of those pouches, I'll just kind of show you real quick here. I had a pouch. I laid the heart die over the pouch and I used some uh, washi tape to hold it in place. And then I went around the outer edge of it with my fuse tool. And here's what I have. Um, I hope that going over all of these cards wasn't too much. I see other people do it and I thought I'd give it a try. I don't think I'm quite as good as they are yet, but <laughs> I'm working on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. My next video next week will be um, covering some really cute little party favors that you can make for um, your little ones, maybe Valentine's Day party or something. Um, we're going to be making some cute little holders for lollipops. So until next time, hugs and loves from my craft room to yours.